you're actually quite scary, aren't yeah. you? I'm absolutely not going to do that. That's rude. James, I've got to say, I love you. Is that my tight thing? Oh, based on the best-selling book, Atonement is set just before and during World War II and takes us on an epic journey from the idyllic English countryside to the beaches of Dunkirk. It's a moving and tragic love story which begins on a summer's afternoon at a wealthy country estate where the heat fuels a sizzling but repressed passion between daughter of the house Celia and Robbie, a servant's son. Now your um, character is a bit of an ice maiden at the start of the film. That's who we met on the way in. Robbie. I told him to join us tonight. Oh, Leon, you didn't. I just completely fell in love with her, totally. And, and I, I think it's, it, it's because, yeah, she's, she's not particularly nice at the beginning. Look, I really think you should go down to the lodge and ask him not to come. Why? Something happened between you. For God's sake. If you want to be really sloppy, she gets redeemed by love. <laughs> Which I quite like. It's incredibly sloppy. Consumed with love and lust, Robbie writes to Celia an extremely lustful letter. Cecilia's a little bit out of his league, though, wouldn't you say? Cecilia? Yeah, he's punching way above his weight, really. But, but I think she's attracted to the, the goodness. And Although shocked by the letter, it makes Cecilia realise her feelings for Robbie. I don't know how I could have been so ignorant about myself. I've got to talk about the study scene, the steamy scene. It's a really important scene as far as the whole film goes because it's got to be erotic and it's got to be passionate. Otherwise, you don't, you're not going to believe that these two people wait for four or five years for each other. Why are you crying? Yes, I know exactly. It is very erotic. I, yeah. I love it. Right? Now, you must have heard that Kira has said that you're the best kisser ever. Darling, darling, darling. Does that just come naturally to you? Had Johnny Depp or Orlando Bloom been sitting in the room next to her, she might have changed that answer. <laughs> but it's very nice for her. More on that later. Way! Meanwhile, when Cecilia's sister Bryony reads that letter and then mistakes her throws of passion for Robbie attacking Cecilia, she's convinced Robbie is guilty when a child is molested on the estate. I saw him. I saw him with my own eyes. Sent to prison and then to war, Robbie and Cecilia are torn apart and Bryony must atone for her mistake. I knew what I did was terrible. I don't expect you to forgive me. Have you got anything you want to atone for? Oh, God. Um, no, not at the moment. I know I have. Have you? Do you want to hear about it? What? Well, firstly, I kind of nearly crushed Pierce Brosnan. <laughs> I hit Donny Osmond in the face. I did. What? You <laughs> hit me. <laughs> Why? Um, well, it was just in an interview. And then I um, stuck a microphone up George Clooney's nostril. Did it fit? No. You're actually quite scary, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, well, a little bit, but I'm not going to do anything scary to you, don't Thanks. worry. So I'd like to atone for that now okay. by saying sorry, and hopefully they will lift um, the restraining orders. Well, I forgive you. Do you? Of course. Thank you so much. For all of those things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, Kira. Now back to Atoma for story, and Robbie is battling to get back to his beloved Cecilia. I will return. Find you. Love you. Marry you. And live without shame. But will they ever be reunited? Meanwhile, Kira has a bit of a battle of her own with the press. All the press, it must do your head in. They always go on about your weight. Yes. I've got to admit, they always go on about mine. I'm not being funny. I'm naturally like that. You're naturally like that. Why don't they just leave us alone, sister? Oh, I completely agree. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Does it do your head in, though? Apparently it comes with a job. So uh, I guess you just have to kind of sit back and take it. Well, Sienna Miller said you always have seconds and you love your apple pie. I do. We've got to go out. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> that would be fun. Why do you like apple pie? I love apple pie. Hot with ice cream, cold ice cream. Oh, all right, yeah, yeah. Or would you rather custard? I quite like custard, but no, I'll go, I'll go with vanilla ice cream. I like what you're doing there. Yes, move over, Paxman. This morning tackles the important issues. And for now, the important issue is to tell you that Atonement is a very powerful and moving film. So don't forget your hankies. Almost time for me to go, but that talk of snogging earlier got me wondering. Now I'm going to play the game called Kiss and Tell. You've got to tell me which mouth belongs to which co-star. Who's that? 
Definitely Orlando Bloom. Yes, Orlando Bloom. Huh? But I want you to also give me a rating out of 10 for snuggability. I'm not going to do that. That's rude. Oh, I'd have on. to atone for that. Would you? And I'm not going to. Come on, no. give me a rating. You wonderful kisser. I'm not going to give you a rating out of 10. Right, then. Right. Definitely James McAvoy. I'm actually telling more by the facial hair than I am by the lips. <laughs> really? Yeah, um, but yes, that's definitely wonderful kisser. No rating. I'm not. Ge- I'm absolutely not going to rate them. And again, facial hair, Johnny Depp. Actually, so you know good. what? I'm lying. It's because Johnny Depp's written on the back of that, and I'm You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's cheating. A tone, a tone. Oh, you need I, to atone, baby. Should I atone for that? Well, can you forgive me for that then? I'd forgiven you for sticking a thing up George Clooney's nostril or whatever you did. Let me just think about it. Thanks. Okay, okay. I forgive you. <laughs> Appreciate that. <laughs> You're welcome. And now, before I do go, just time to find out how good a snog James really is. Yes, ladies, I'm going in. They're telling yep. me to wind up, and I yep. guess I'll have to see if you're any good at kissing. Right. Um, is that my taxi? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Cheers. Thanks. Thanks for Get here. I'll get here.